Yo, what up guys and welcome back to the lodge. Yeah, so today we're gonna be playing a game called Minutes in Islands. I gotta say this game was really fun. It was something that, you know, was pretty new for me because it was like um a novel type beat thing because uh there was a lot of dialogue and you just had to walk from point A to point B, solve some puzzles, so it was something quite chill that I just took out, you know maybe like a couple of eight hours so yeah quite different from the stuff that i'm used to you know action and adventure games so yeah this one was pretty fun and yeah it had a really um important lesson about it you know if you see it in the end if you stick to the play through because yeah i finished this game so you're not gonna have a full play through this time so yeah uh and don't forget to leave a like comment and of course like subscribe to the channel if you're new so yeah, let's get it. Four brothers. Safan. Bagan. Ande. And Afla. Bound by eternal purpose. a girl named Mo. Moore has learned to sleep under the hissing tubes and the ever-humming chambers. The pumping cylinders give her comfort, the drumming of a job well done. Nothing startles her more than silence. There is no rest for the apprentice.
Moore has done so much around here. Repaired and watched and built, but in this deathly silence, she is once more taunted by the one thing she will never be able to do. Their engineering can be studied and replicated, but their strength they selfishly keep. Despite all the wiring and the manufactured tubes, the engines are powered by physical force. But the kind that no mere human could ever muster. Safan. He was always the weakest of the four. He is struggling to breathe. Even Mo can taste the stale air in her mouth. It seems the ventilation system isn't working properly, but nothing does without the engine.
Without power, the observatory is not much use. Something grave must have occurred. But what? Without the veil, the air is too toxic to breathe. And just as more feared, the vents have all shut. The poison is kept out, but so is the oxygen. Safan is slowly suffocating, and the other three may have it worse.
It shows all three purifiers are down, as if more needed any confirmation beyond the spores in the air. This is on you, Safan. Mo grunts. Pray it is not too late for me to fix your mess. made it clear. It died a long time ago, and now the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. A better fate than the fungus eating you alive. If y'all made it to the end of part one, thank you. Y'all are real ones. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And yeah, see y'all on the next one.